Hey everybody, Alton here and welcome back to the channel. I just came from the post office and I have a little box to open. It comes from Belova, Canada, courtesy of Halifax Watch. Would you like to find out what's inside? If so, stick around. Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to take a look at this little box here. I am really excited to open this up. This is something for my own personal collection, not in for review, but in because I want to check it out for myself, put it on my own wrist. I don't have any fancy knives here today. Just a pair of scissors. That should get the job done. Now this box is coming to me from Halifax Watch. More correctly, it's been drop shipped from below the Canada. So I'm not expecting the same kind of level of customer service that I get from Halifax Watch. If you check out my unboxing of the fourth gen Seiko Samurai, you'll see just how great they are at their packaging. There's some paper, packing materials. What's this? This is the watch? Oh. Okay, so I've never experienced this. This is the box, and this is the watch bubble wrapped at the bottom. I can honestly see I've never experienced that before. Okay, well, before we get to the watch, let's find out what's in this box then, I guess. Uh, paper sleeve, fake wooden box, open it up, yeah, and there's... Nothing inside except a gel pack. Okay, silica gel, all right. And it's a citizen box. Okay, that's a little confusing to me. Here's paperwork. Uh, yeah, so, all right, well, let's take a look at this. Watch, before we do a little wrist check, I am wearing another Belova, Belova Military UHF Ultra High Frequency, 262 kilohertz. And this is such a really cool watch. I've actually been wearing it a lot lately. The battery died on me, I replaced the battery. I did a little video on that if you wanna check that out, if it interests you at all to see the size of the battery in a watch that continuously runs in such a smooth sweep. But it's also been just kind of whetting my appetite for this new Belova to come. Okay, so I guess this must be because the watch is being drop shipped in from Belova. It's the quickest way to get it to customers sometimes and that's just kind of the system they've set up. You can see here's the SKU. The list price is $895. Did not pay that for this watch. And inside we have the Boliva. This is the Boliva A15. Here's the hang tag. It says chronograph on there, which is kind of interesting. Dual time, automatic, stainless steel. Very, very interesting. And let's peel off that sticker. Oh, oh, that's nice. I have to say, at first my impressions weren't too, too great because I, I saw it through this, through the sticker and it, it just kind of looks so grungy and, and, and dirty and yucky. And then I peel it off and it's like, oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh, that. That is really nice. That yellow really, really pops. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. I'm gonna go ahead and polish it up a little bit and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've given this a quick wipe down of the dial. For you new collectors out there, Make sure when you get a watch that 
you, well, first of all, it's not a bad idea. I know this sounds crazy. It's not a bad idea to videotape the unboxing in case there are any issues at all, especially if it's an expensive piece. But always grab that microfiber cloth and and go over it make sure there aren't any crazy scratches anything out of the ordinary i've let a few imperfections go over the years because i know that i myself will add to them but i mean i add enough to my own watches that i don't need to start it with it looking junky and this looks really really nice i can tell already that i'm going to scratch the heck out of this polished bezel <laughs> but that's the way it goes but, you know, this box sapphire crystal actually protrudes a little bit. There's a lip here. I don't know if it comes across too well. And I think that that will actually take a lot of the blows, the brunt of a lot of blows, when you click it up against a arm of a chair or a doorway or whatever it might be. There's one more sticker on the back that we need to peel off. And actually, this is... Uh, it's a really nice sticker to peel off because underneath should be pristine, shiny chrome. Oh, and another sticker. <laughs> so a little bit about this watch. This watch is a remake of a watch that was made in the 40s. And the American military were, were testing this out. I think particularly the Air Force. This was going to be a pilot's watch. They made 50 of them. And they handed them out and they tested them and ultimately they never put this into production. So it kind of got shelved and archived and it's been remade a couple times. As far as I know, this is at least the second, probably the third time that it's been reissued. Each time it's been slightly different. This one here is, is quite faithful to the original. I'll try to find a shot of the original and throw, throw it up on the screen for you to see. They've kept the numbers white, but they put the inner numbers, the 24 hour numbers in yellow, which is a really nice touch. If you look at vintage pictures of this watch, you're gonna see that it, the numbers are very yellowed, but, but they originally were white. And so Belova here have chosen to go with the original instead of trying to emulate the fake loom, which, you know, is fine, but I like, personally, I like the crisp white dial. And I think that's reflected too here in this reflective case back. Very simple. You wouldn't have found a nice display case back on a 1940s aviation watch. There's a signed crown, Belova, right there, looking good. So this watch has a lot going on, and instantly you're going to be drawn to the three crowns. What do the two crowns do? Well, this one up here rotates this bezel, inner rotating bezel. So you can track minutes there, up to 60 minutes. And then the second one changes the inner rotating bezel. So you can track a second time zone or use it for a timer, of course. I'm sure there are many different calculations that you could do with this. I think it would have been extremely handy for a pilot back in 1944, but uh, they ended up going for the more simple hack version of the Belova, which is a great watch too. Now, why did I pick up this watch? Well, for a few reasons. One, I'm a huge pilot watch and field watch guy. Just anything in that range, I, I just love them. I had a great experience with my other Belova, which I quite like, and uh, I see a lot of value there a lot of the times. Is the value there as much in this watch? I don't know exactly. It might be a little, little bit overpriced, even at the discount that I got, 25% uh, off. And the reason for that is inside is a Miyota 800 movement. So not necessarily the highest end movement if you're paying upwards of $600 Canadian for a watch. But at least it is the newest movement. We'll check that out, see? Aha! <laughs> she hacks, which is great to see. I got this watch also because I watched uh, watch Chris. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll throw that up here on the screen. He's got a fantastic Instagram channel as well. And he and I chatted a little bit. He was very enthusiastic about it. I could find very few videos 
about this watch. And he had the best one by far and one of the only few. And so he wholeheartedly recommended it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to go for it. Secondly, or thirdly, this is a watch that kind of flies under the radar. I don't know a lot of people that have it. And I suspect that it's going to be a lot like my Belova Military that I'm wearing right now, where when it goes out of production, that's when it kind of picks up and people take notice and then they want one. And so I don't want to have to have the trouble of, of finding one later. Now, although it does have the Miyota 800 movement in it, it does have a nice stainless steel case with some really nice polishing and brushing to it. It has a great design. The printing is all very nicely done. The, the hands are very well done as well. It has a box sapphire crystal with air coating on the underside, which I really appreciate. So it's going to be tough and durable that way. So the downside really to this watch, I think, is the movement and perhaps the 30 meters of water resistance that you get with this watch. Would love to have seen it with 100 meters because then really you could strap this thing on for the weekend and you'd be set. Take it to the beach, take it for a hike, wherever you want to go, this thing will get you there. You need to time it to see how long your wife's at the superstore getting groceries. 45, 55, 65 minutes, you can time it with this sucker. I think it's pretty, pretty awesome. So let's uh, throw it on the wrist and see how it looks. Okay, now here it is on my 8-inch wrist, and I have to say it fits really, really well. It's a 42-millimeter watch. I don't know the lug-to-lug. -lug. When I do a review, I'll give you all of those specs. And it's 14 millimeters thick, but it actually it doesn't seem to wear that way. It, it sits on my wrist really well. It doesn't read as, as being overly thick or obtrusive. The lug to lug is not too long. It's just wearing really, really well, very comfortable. Another thing that I was kind of surprised by was this strap. Now I'm a strap junkie and I usually don't keep my watches on a stock strap for more than a few minutes. But in this situation, I just might change my tune because this is a really, really well done. It's a nice, deep cocoa brown, I would say, with brown stitching. It's very pliable. It's generously thick, but not overly thick. It says it's genuine leather, but as far as the genuine leather strap goes, this is a very, very nice one. And it really does fit the aesthetic of this watch pretty well. It's signed Belova, as you would expect. And again, there's a look at the case, the case back, those pushers in that crown, in that beautiful dial. Well, friends, I am definitely going to be doing a more long-term review of this thing after I've had it on the wrist for a couple weeks, but I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing, and I'm really glad that you could watch this video. If you feel like liking and subscribing, go ahead and do that. If you don't want to, that's okay too, but it sure does make me feel good when I get a new subscriber or I see a bunch of likes on my videos. Uh, thanks again to Halifax Watch for shipping this to me so quickly. And uh, just, a, just a word of thanks to Josh because I know that he was in the woods on vacation, the co-owner of Halifax Watch, and I was bugging him for tracking number for this thing. <laughs> and he, he hiked up the mountain to find the best cell reception he could so that he could figure out when this thing was on its way to me. And so thanks, Josh, for that. Thanks to all of you for watching. Thanks to Belova for making a pretty cool watch. Have a great day.